Hey everyone, this is Joe with Algo Cleanup, and in today's video, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about Aura. Aura is a new mineable ASA on Algorand, and in this video, I'll be discussing three elements. I'll be discussing how and what Aura is and how it functions, two, how to actually mine or juice some Aura, uh, and we'll be looking at TestNet for that, and then three, who created Aura. But Aura is really exciting as far as the project goes because it really flexes Algorand's um, technology as a blockchain by increasing the TPS. Essentially, Aura allows you to submit loads of transactions and with every transaction you pay a small fee and after a certain period, five rounds, if you are the highest miner, you're rewarded with Aura. And if you aren't the highest miner, you continue to accumulate your fees until you are the highest miner to earn some Aura. So that essentially is a basic overview, but I find it's much easier to just jump straight into TestNet and show you how this works. So with TestNet, you'll set up uh, a password and it will create an Algo wallet for you. I already have this set up, so I can just unlock my juicer. But let's go over a few elements. Begin, you can see that we are on TestNet and the total Algo effort across the whole platform has been 117,000 Algo. Again, these are test Algos. And finally, this has resulted in 30 million transactions. And that's the really important piece why this project's so interesting is it essentially allows you to spam transactions to earn Aura. So it is a meme coin, but it's really fascinating as it really flexes the capabilities of the Algorand blockchain. You'll note that you are given a wallet where you can contribute all goes to. And over here you have your parameters where you can set the number of transactions per minute or the fee you're willing to pay. And just keep in mind, once you've contributed the most amount of fees, you'll earn Aura, your counter will be reset to zero, and then you'll contribute more fees. So you can technically increase from 0.002 fees all the way up to 0.02 Algo. So per transaction, you'd be submitting a higher fee. But most people are interested in actually flexing the Algorand technology. So I'm leaning much more heavily towards increasing my transactions per minute or transactions per second, 128, as a single user than increasing the fee per transaction. To begin, I just want to show how easy it is to actually participate in a testnet. This is very useful for anyone in the Algo community that's looking to help support a project while it's in its development phase. I'm going to just show you how easy it is to, one, access the testnet um, within your Para app. So you can access your wallets already have a testnet uh, component. And then secondly, I'm going to show you how easy it is to just get some testnet algos dispensed directly into your wallet. So I'll put my phone up on the screen right now. So all you need to do is navigate over to settings. You'll scroll down to the bottom and click on developer settings. You'll click on node settings and then you'll click testnet. And you can see now I am in testnet and I have my wallets here. They all have different amounts. So now that I have accessed the testnet on the Para app, I can go to a dispenser. I can just answer the CAPTCHA. And then I can paste my wallet address. I'll click dispense. And you'll note that it was successful. And you can see in my app, the 10 test all goes just arrived. And so you'll get a notification. It's really helpful to understand how easy it is to access your testnet wallets and how easy it is to actually get some algos to play around with so you can actually help these uh, developers and builders test their um, applications as they're being developed. So we'll just come back over here and I already have some testnet algos in there, but let's go ahead and add a few more. So it the app works exactly how you would expect it to. I can just scan my wallet address and then I can say send a transaction. I can select all goes and I can send it 10 more uh, testnet all goes. Click next, confirm the transaction and the trans transaction's been submitted. And sure enough, we can see that I now have a balance of 22. You can see testnet is very easy to access and it works extremely similarly to um, the actual live chain. So now at this point, we can set our parameters. We could adjust the fees or we could address, adjust the transactions per minute. I'm just gonna show you uh, 128 transactions per second. Um, you can see that that will last me about a minute. So I can um, put in some more algos as well, or I can have it be you know lower and that will last me 
you know, 30 hours and 50 minutes. It's showing you how much juicing time you have left. If you increase the fees, you can see that that goes down as well, but I would be getting more aura because I'm contributing more fees, but it would last about three hours. But the, the main point I'm very excited for this project is to increase the transactions per second to really flex Algorand's capabilities. Okay, so I am going to max out the transactions per second. You can see that this will last about two minutes um, of juicing time. And I also have a Algo Explorer pulled up that is set to the testnet just to demonstrate um, what this looks like once I start. So you can see that the past few blocks, you know, 57 transactions, 25 transactions. Um, but let's go ahead and just start juicing. So you, you can see that we are juicing. They have a little illustration of what it actually looks like, how many transactions I have pending. And let's just come back over to testnet. And you can see all of a sudden 265 transactions um, in a block. Let's look at the next one, 325, 266, 266. And you can see that as a user, I'm spending a tremendous amount of transactions as an individual. And you can see that I'm continually earning aura, 4.19 aura, 4.19 aura. And so the, again, this is just on testnet. This isn't correlated to uh, the live version, but I just wanted to show how this actually works and you can see that i'm essentially winning each one because i'm contributing the most fees as an individual i have drastically increased the amount of transactions happening on testnet and we can even see that i am showing up in the leaderboard for the you know last thousand rewards so i'm, I'm showing up right away so it's working as expected um, you can see that my balance is going down 23.89 I'll go in this wallet and it will continue to go down as I continue to juice, but I'm continually earning those rewards as I'm submitting these transactions. So just a couple other, um, interesting points that I find is very helpful to provide some additional context. Um, Aura is a unique Algorand standard asset, unlike typical coins distributed via presale or airdrop or its entire supply is locked in a smart contract and it's only accessible through juicing or mining. So that's what we just demonstrated on the test net. Uh, Aura was born from the four oranges meme. So you may be asking why oranges, John Allen Woods, Algorand CTO recently was in a debate defending Algorand in Coinage's Project of the Year award, where he compares Arbitrum's TVL metrics to not holding much meaning like my mom has four oranges. I'll just play the clip now. You know, I can pull metrics out of the air to whatever, <laughs> 8 million transactions over the last week. I don't know, my mom has four oranges, I don't know. Juicing replaces Bitcoin's hashing power with fee spending. A top spender is chosen every 15 seconds, five Algorand rounds and rewarded with 1.05 Aura, which is different than the test net amount, but this is the amount that was settled on. It's a balanced system favoring both those that are persistent, you know, having a lower transaction per second amount and those that are big spenders, essentially what I was doing on testnet. Fees are returned to the Algorand network, um, akin to burning algos. A max fee limit of 0.02 algo per transaction prevents Aura sniping and boosts network throughput. Aura shares Bitcoin's eight decimal structure, it undergoes a halving process roughly every 330 days. Its total supply is 4 million Aura, will be mined over 15 years, potentially shortening as algo rounds get faster. Aura, like Bitcoin, has no central authority. It's not just a meme coin. It's a testament to Algorand's capabilities and reward system for top contributors. So that's essentially why there's so much um, excitement and clamor about this project. And one other aspect I wanted to emphasize because I saw some questions online, your effort does not reset every five rounds. Only the winner of that five round range gets the, his effort reset. Eventually you will be a top miner because you've accumulated so much effort over time. Finally, I just wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about the creator. Grezorx is a uh, Algorand developer. He's been heavily involved in the ecosystem and has created some great projects on Algorand. Um, he is a co-founder of Vestige, an Algorand DeFi explorer. He also is creating a card-based battling game called Tame Quest, which also looks very promising. That's currently on testnet as well. So feel free to explore that and test that out. Hopefully you're a bit more familiar with testnet now. Um, and now he's created the oranges.meme. Um, his Tame Quest uh, submission also participated in the Buildable competition at the end of 2023. And if you wanted to help the project, there's a couple different ways. Obviously, you could be a miner and juicing Aura. 
You could follow their socials, follow um, the creator, follow them on Discord, or you can also purchase a NFD. You can also support by purchasing a NFD segment. So um, his project has orange.algo, and if you purchase a segment, which I have done, algo cleanup dot orange dot algo makes it easy for uh, different users to find your address. He sees a portion of the proceeds. So it's just another way to potentially support and show support for the project. And it will launch in a day from the making of this video, it will launch uh, right at midnight UTC um, of the new year of 2024. And I just wanted to demonstrate that testnet when his project initially went live, lots of users were testing it out. And you can see that we were consistently sustaining over 500 TPS um, transactions per second for a couple hours. And so that's why this project has a lot of uh, buzz around it. Um, it's a really great way to demonstrate Algorand's capabilities. So hopefully this is helpful. Hopefully it helps get your bearings a bit more on what people are talking about when they're talking about Aura, and what it means to have a mineable ASA on Algorand. Happy juicing and have a great day.